Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I want to walk you through the new app experience in the Power BI service, including the recently added new navigation experience as well. The new navigation experience, paired with the new filters pane, delivers a really nice and clean user experience in my opinion. Now, before we get started, let's get a little background on what apps are within the Power BI service. Overall, there are three primary environments available for publishing and sharing content in the Power BI service. There is My Workspace, there are Shared Workspaces, and then there are Apps. And each of these environments is designed for increasingly larger audiences and organizational exposure. Apps, which is what we're covering today, is the most production-ready environment for users who want to access and consume reports, dashboards, and other content. Here's a nice summary of the types of content available to add to each environment. Now notice at the bottom the URL links option. This is something that is now available to include as linked content using the new apps navigation experience, which we will be covering today. Now, when publishing, you can configure the following sections. Setup, which lets you configure the name and description, support site, app logo, and theme color. Note that the name and description are required, meaning they cannot be left blank when publishing the app. Navigation, which lets you configure which dashboards, reports, workbooks, and URLs you'd want to include in the new navigation pane. This setup is also required for publishing. And finally, permissions, which will let you choose who can have access to the app, either the entire organization or a specific list of people or Active Directory group. Plus, you can choose to have this app install automatically for your entire organization, if the admin has granted permissions for this. And lastly, you can also configure which ways people can connect to the app datasets with external authoring tools and whether or not users can save a copy of any reports within the app. So now that we've gotten a quick rundown of the app experience, let's hop into the Power BI service and get started. So I'm going to use one of the workspaces that I've already created. Note over on the left, under my reports, I have both Google Analytics and a Google Analytics dev report. So two different reports that are in there, plus a data set and a data flow. So I've already created this app previously, so you'll notice in the upper right here, it says update app. If this is the first time you're making the app, it will simply say create app, but go ahead and open this and we'll see the settings that we can configure. Then we'll explore the app experience itself. Select update app. And now we have the three main options in here, setup, navigation, and permissions. And in setup, just like I said, the little asterisk here does indicate that this is a requirement. So you do have to provide a name and you do need to provide a description as well. And plus, optionally, you can provide a support site. In this case, this is a link to a Google Analytics report page on my website explaining how to use the report. You can include an app logo here and an app theme color. Now, at the moment, the app theme colors cannot be just any color. It does have to come from this specific palette. Uh, but if you are curious what that color is when you're in here, if you hover over it, it will show the actual hex code. You'll see here in a second why that is useful once we go explore the experience. Now, navigation, this is the big one. So you notice that there's a new navigation builder here that is turned on. If you have that disabled, it uses the previous navigation experience, but I want to have that on. Now, a couple of things to note in here. That dev report that I don't want in the production environment that's only there to test changes before pushing to production in the app, that is disabled here. This little icon for show versus hide makes sure that when I publish the app, that is no longer visible. And in here, you have some options for various things. This is actually a section, links and resources, is a section that I've had to organize a bunch of links that I have within the report. And if I click this down arrow, you can see all those links in there. So just as well with anything else, I can hide from navigation, um, but I do have various links in here. Notice that this is all external links, uh, a Google support page for the Google Analytics dimensions, which opens in a new tab, but I also have an option to do current tab or content area. Content area is actually gonna come into play here in a second, but all of these here, this first one, the app source instructions on my website, plus a contact and support page, those all open in a new tab. The one thing here that actually opens directly in the content area, and you'll see this in play when we go to the app experience, that opens directly in Power BI. Now, I have only tested this with some YouTube links. Um, I have found that you have to use the embed link specifically, so I think that's a security issue, but I don't know 100% why that is required, um, but that's the only way I've found so far to have an external link open in the content area that was outside of Power BI. And right here, the Google Analytics report is just the name of that report that I have in there. And you might notice an advanced thing down here. So the only thing in advanced at the moment is how wide do you want the navigation pane to be? And last but not least, permissions. 
As I mentioned previously, you can share with the entire organization or specific individuals or groups. Uh, if you have this enabled for your organization, this can be checked here. It's disabled for mine at the moment. And then whether or not users can connect to the apps underlying data sets, meaning analyze in Excel uh, or other Power BI files. And then if users want to save a copy of this report to their personal workspace, plus links below directly. Uh, if you actually wanted to copy and paste us in emails or use them for any other things, those are all available here um, as the admin. So I'm going to go ahead and click update app. And it does say that sometimes it might take a little bit of time depending on the size of your organization, especially with installing automatically. I will click update. Perfect. Already ready to go. There's the direct link if I needed to, or I can select go to app. And then it takes you to this really nice, clean app experience. Notice that I have the report in front of me. Over here on the right is the app navigation experience. So that Google Analytics report that was in the menu, notice that the pages in the report are all listed underneath it as part of an expand and collapse hierarchy. So navigating between the pages just simply occurs right here. So it's a really nice and clean interface that way. The one thing I do wish there was a button for is to be able to collapse this pane. That is not available today, but I do hope it comes out sometime soon. Um, as well as the links and resources down here, all of those are available in this. Now notice that the color that I picked here, that hex code that you can hover over to see, that is actually what I colored the filters pane as well directly in the report in Power BI Desktop to create a nice seamless experience with all of those. So that's one of the reasons that hovering over those is really nice so you can get the exact color code to make sure that they perfectly match if that is your goal with this. Now the links here, if I clicked on any of these top three, that would open up into a new page. Now the one specifically that I wanna call out here is this YouTube link. That is the embed code. So if I click this, it actually takes me to a YouTube video that I have from last week. And if I click play, it will play it directly in my app workspace. So it's really nice to be able to embed videos like that. If you have something that's related to the app workspace experience that you would want people to be able to watch directly from in here. And those were the primary things that I wanted to cover. I really wanted to show you what this new navigation experience was, which I personally love. The one thing that I wish they would add is the ability to collapse that at some point, similar to the filters pane, because that does free up room and make the report bigger. So fingers crossed that comes out in the next version. Uh, but other than that, I really like it. It creates a nice little frame around it, especially when using that new filters pane. Notice that I'm now using that in the app workspace where I had previously used the bookmarks pane over here to have my own pop-up window. That was the one thing that sold me to do this uh, with the filters pane is now that there's a new navigation experience here, why do I want to build all these elements onto my report when I can already navigate through all of the pages here? So it's becoming a much more seamless web-like experience that I'm really appreciating. And yep, that about covers it for this video. If you like this video, please click or smash that like button below. If you have anything to say about this video or have a comment for a future video, please add that to the comment section down below. And if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please hit that subscribe and notification button. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video.